everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Rachel Ray and this is a video to show you how to wash oily diamond painting drills so have you ever gotten a kit and you look through the diamonds and some of them look like they're clumped together uh, I'm unfortunately it does happen I'm just gonna try to get into this bag y'all this is the first time I've ever had nails this long these are from All Dashing. I'll put a link down there if you're interested, but man, just getting used to them. Okay, so I got a diamond painting not too long ago. It's from diamond-paintings.co.uk, and it's a Christmas bauble painting. I'll see if I have the picture still, and I'll put it up on screen. But see here, I have four bags of oily drills that I need to clean, because if I try to use them... They won't stick in the pen. The pen won't be able to pick them up. And sometimes they smell kind of funky. I, I don't remember if they smell bad or if I even opened the packages. But I'll show you what they look like. Let me just get them out of the bag. I gotta find them. They're in there somewhere. And, uh, and separate them out and I'll show you what they look like. Cool. It looks like when I went and put the diamonds away, I had taped these together so that I knew which ones I needed to clean. Very smart of you, past Rachel. So I'm gonna show you here, get the piece of tape off. This is one of the bags and you can actually see the droplets there on top of the bag. So you can definitely see right away that there is some kind of condensation in there. And that's just, I believe it's just oil that helps to release the diamonds when they come out of the mold. So you have that. It doesn't happen that often anymore, I find, but it, it still can happen. The rest of the diamonds are in perfect condition, so who knows? But just so that you know what to look for, and you can see that they're all clumped together, like they won't fall down in the bag as easily as clean drills. And here's the last bag. Yeah, it's pretty gross. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So we're gonna put, I'm gonna put these to the side, okay? And I'm gonna show you with this bag, cause I think, will we be able to see this one? No, you know what? I'm thinking in my head that this will be easier to see against the bright nails and everything. So you ready to do this? What we're first gonna need is you're gonna need a strainer to put them in to make sure that the diamonds don't fall through. So make sure it's a fine mesh sleeve, sleeve, sieve. <laughs> um, you're gonna need dish soap. Uh, in this case, I'm using fairy, but you know, Dawn, you could do whatever you want. Just make sure that it's uh, like an anti-greasing agent. So even Dr. Bronner's and stuff like that will work. And for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use a wash basin, but it's probably easier to do this over the sink where you have a continuous water flow. Uh, but y'all don't need to see my sink. <laughs> let's just, let's keep the filming equipment in here. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna fill this with water and then we'll get on with it. Perfect. Okay, so here we've got some warm water. It is easier over the sink, trust me on this one, but um, again, for the purposes of demonstration, we don't really need it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the diamonds into my sieve, if I can. Try to get all of them in there. So let's squish that bag around a bit. And you can see they don't wanna come out. It's not nice. I'm gonna get my hands dirty anyway, so I might as well just reach in there and try to get all the little pieces that I can. Get them into my sieve. And then essentially, we're going to then cover it all with dish soap before we get them wet. Now let's put some soap on it. And you wanna be very generous, okay? Dish soap is not expensive, <laughs> so go go in hard with it. And I'm gonna try to get every single drill coated with that dish soap. It looks excessive, but it's important. And then we're gonna dunk it in the water 
and start to rinse. You're going to want to do this a few times because you want to make sure there's absolutely no residue left. So you could absolutely do this in a basin, but if you were in a sink, you know, the water would be coming down on the drills and it would be agitating the soap um, and really getting that oil off. With the basin, you might have to like fill and refill, you know. So this is what I do. Let's get it really sudsy in there. Pretend like they're really coated in something gross. And just wash and wash and wash and wash it. Okay. And I'm going to do this one more time, but I'm going to get fresh water in my basin so that um, there's absolutely no oily residue. And then we can tip these out onto a paper plate. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have my wash drills. I went ahead and ran them under the faucet so they're nice and clean, really rinsed off well. Make sure you get all the soap off. And now we need to stick them. I've got a plate here, but you could use, you know, whatever you want. I've, the important part is the paper towel. I said paper plate before, didn't I? <laughs> the paper towel is super important. So uh, we're going to get those drills onto the paper towel. Perfect. Is there one in there? No. Okay, so I have some spillage, but you should be able to do it. You really wanna, you really wanna flick it onto the towel. And then we're gonna blot out any moisture. Perfect. Now that's not going to get rid of all of the moisture, but most of it will come away. And then you want to look and see if there's any more oily residue. So I might make let these dry. Uh, you could set them in front of a fan or something like that. Just make sure that they're not in the reach of small children or pets. Because um, we wouldn't want them to be mistaken for like, you know, sprinkles or something. Let's see. I don't think they feel oily anymore. You may have to do this more than once, so don't be surprised. <laughs> um, this is this is why back in the day, and I'm going to say back in the day because it really doesn't happen all that often to me anymore, but it could be just because I, I try to purchase the higher quality diamond paintings, but um, it, even with them, sometimes it might happen. Um, I haven't had to do this in a really long time. Uh, but someone asked me, even this morning I was asked, what do you do about it? This is, this is the only solution that I've found that works. But, um, if you have an opinion on how to clean oily drills or how you've done it in the past, feel free to leave them, the, that advice in the comments so that you can help other people too. Um, but my advice would be just to keep going until they don't act oily anymore. So you should see that they're not clumping together. They're very, they're moving uh, individually now. And um, you might have the occasional ones that like want to stick together. Like that one. And uh, that's another common question. If, well, see, they didn't actually stay together. But if you have them and they're clumping, but they're not oily, there's two things you could do. You could use a diamond grinder, which you can get from, um, well, you can, you can support small business by going to Archer's Arts or another diamond painting accessory store and purchasing a diamond grinder. You could use a spice grinder, uh, or you could um, take, if you have an empty medicine bottle like a prescription bottle and a nickel or another coin some small coin and if you shake the drills around in that little coin bottle it'll separate those drills so that's how you fix that problem if they're not oily but they're sticking together like the one here in my nail here's here's two more that are clumped like that uh, you can you can try like prying apart 
each individual uh, clump, but that's very time consuming. Anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any other hints or tips and tricks that you'd like to, you know, leave for maybe new diamond painters or people who are watching this video and they need some help and inspiration, please do leave that down in the comments below. Um, I'm sure that someone out there will appreciate it. One other really important thing while you're doing this, if you have more than one color, make sure you only do one color at a time and that you make sure that you have that DMC number or whatever number that they're using near those drills because you don't want to mix these up or forget what number it is or something like that. So <laughs> I know that that sounds like, oh, you, you know, Rachel, wouldn't you not forget? No, I would absolutely forget. I would walk away and then be like, oh, what color is that? <laughs> so yeah, and people like me need to be reminded. So that's it. That's how you clean oily drills. Um, I hope this was helpful and informative. And like I said, if you have anything to add, please do. And I will see you all really soon. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next video. So take care, everybody. Bye. Happy diamond painting.